Welcome to my life and coasters where in today's video I'm going to be looking at UK theme park prices. Now getting to UK theme parks can be quite expensive uh, and ticket costs I think now are more expensive than ever. So in this video I'm going to be comparing different UK theme parks and looking at the ticket costs, what they've got on offer, uh, whereabouts they are, how much parking, that sort of stuff costs. Uh, so yeah, I've got sort of a, quite a long list. I think it's about 10 parks here, uh, just in def different tabs. Uh, and they're the sort of, I've picked a wide variety of parks, uh, family parks, kids parks, uh, thrill parks, and also quite expensive parks and parks that are quite good value. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go in order sort of of where my tabs are. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to start with then is Flamingoland in North Yorkshire. Uh, now, obviously, if you're looking at visiting a theme park, depending on where you live, uh, some parks are just a bit too far to travel to. Uh, so yeah, I'll start off with Flamingoland and looking at their high ticket costs, because uh, when I sort of think of UK parks, the more expensive ones that come to mind will probably be uh, Portland's Park, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Flamingoland, uh, well, actually, maybe not Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It depends on that one. Now, Flamingoland, their tickets are generally around £41. Now, they've not actually uh, released tickets for the main season this year, uh, so I can't have a look on the website. But last year, they were about £40, £41, uh, and I imagine they'll be the same this year. Now, you can get open-dated tickets, and they are £52.50, so... Uh, yeah, that price hasn't changed, so I don't imagine the uh, uh, pre book ticket price has changed. Uh, so yeah, Flamingo Land tickets are generally around £40, and parking is free with that one. Now, for as what they've got, so yeah, I'm on the main page of Flamingo Land's website. Now, Flamingo Land is a park that has got something for everyone. It's got probably one of the best zoos, if not the best zoo in the country, in my opinion, that I've visited. Uh, it's got like monorails, trains, it's got thrill coasters, family coasters. Flamingo Land has got everything. Now, it's not so much a theme park, it's not, it's an amusement park. Uh, but what they have got is really good. Now, I'm going to go over some of the thrill rides. Uh, I'll talk about some of the family rides. They've got five family coasters at Flamingo Land, uh, possibly more family thrill coasters. But if we're talking about just family that don't invert, aren't massively tall, uh, then yeah, it's they've got uh, their five coasters and then they've got five thrill coasters. Uh, so yeah, here we go then. Here's the thrill ride page. You've got Sick, which is their uh, new coaster, if you can say that. It's their newest coaster. It opened two years ago. Uh, now, yeah, this ride is really uh, cool. It's my favourite ride at the park. Uh, it's got 10 inversions. Uh, yeah, that's a really good one. You've got Mumbo Jumbo, uh, which is like, a, it's the UK's steepest coaster, actually. Uh, yeah, and that's got 112 degree drop on that one. Uh, you've got Hero, which isn't a very good ride, but that's a flying coaster that goes upside down twice. So, uh, yeah, it's up to you if you want to ride Hero. I personally wouldn't recommend it, but uh, yeah, Hero does exist. Uh, then you've also got Velocity, which is a, uh, well, it's the UK's first and only motorbike launch coaster. It lets you ride at lightning speeds on the tallest and fastest. Don't know what that says. Uh, actually, let's have a read because I'm interested now. It's the tallest and fastest uh, creation of its kind in the world, accelerating from zero to 60 miles an hour in just 2.8 seconds. So, yeah, that is velocity. Well, velocity. Uh, here goes some stats about the ride there. It's got a speed of 54 miles per hour, uh, a height of 57 feet. Uh, yeah, that's also a really good ride. I do really enjoy velocity. It's probably my uh, second favourite at the park. Uh, so yeah, that is it for Flamingoland really. Uh, they have also got Kumali, which is a Vekoma SLC. Um, it's a decent ride. It's a custom layout SLC. Uh, but yeah, I do find that one quite rough. Yeah, so that is uh, Flamingoland. As I mentioned, uh, parking is free. Open dated tickets are £52.50. Uh, and I imagine uh, pre-booked tickets will be somewhere around like £38 to £44 uh, when they release them. Now, next, it's on to the Alton Towers Resort. Now, if you are a Merlin Annual Pass holder, entrance is free, and I imagine you've probably already visited the park. But if you haven't, here is a look at the uh, 
ticket costs. Now, they're not the cheapest, uh, but they have always got uh, different events, and they've obviously got quite a lot to do at Alton Towers. It's the UK's biggest theme park, so that is why you've got the quite high ticket prices. So, for 2024, you can buy a uh, advance uh, one-day pass, which is their one-day ticket, for um, £35, uh, but if you turned up on the day, it's £68. So, that is obviously quite a lot. Uh, now, if you live near the park, uh, it might be worth you getting an annual pass, or if you're doing more than one or two days, um, then yeah, it might be worth you looking into annual passes. But yeah, uh, the Alton Towers Resort is £35 in advance, £68 on the day. Uh, now, as for parking, uh, again, it's not free uh, at the Alton Towers Resort. Uh, it is charged. They have two different options. You've got a standard parking, which is £7, uh, and it's a 15 to uh, 25 minute walk to the park entrance, or you can get express parking, which is £19. Um, yeah, and it's a one to three minute walk away from the theme park entrance. So it's basically right at the entrance, that one. Uh, so yeah, it is quite an expensive day if you want to go to Alton Towers, because uh, you have got parking as an extra. Uh, but yeah, that is the Alton Towers Resort, which is located in Staffordshire. So, moving on from that uh, to an amusement park now, and it's Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, now, this one, uh, this isn't actually that bad value. It used to be quite expensive, uh, but it really depends if you book online or not. Uh, so, if I go to Park Tickets, uh, we go to Park Admission. Uh, now, uh, it's worth checking when all the rides are open, because I believe when the park opens on Saturday the 2nd of March, uh, not everything will be open. Uh, but yeah, tickets online uh, most of the time are £33 for Blackpool Pleasure Beach, uh, as we can see here, Saturday the 2nd of March, with it being the opening day. Uh, yeah, tickets for that are £35, so just a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's different if you've got a child under the age of 11, because as you can see here, um, tickets are quite discounted, like £28, uh, or the on-the-day price is £40 there. Uh, then for full price tickets, the on the day price is £50. Uh, so yeah, the uh, ticket sort of pricing with Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I find quite confusing. Uh, but really, it's easiest just to find the day you want to visit, have a look how much the ticket prices are. Uh, and I really, with any of these parks on this list, uh, you are going to get a discount by booking online at least the night before. Uh, some parks like Alton Towers, I think you've got to book a week before to get the cheapest price. Now, on to what I believe is the most expensive UK park ticket, uh, is Paulson's Park. Now, this is a theme park that does also operate the uh, book in advance thing. Most of these parks do. Uh, you can go onto the website and tickets for this park are £43 per person. That is if you book the day before. Um, if you book on the day, it's £58.50, so very expensive, but... Uh, it's free parking at this park. Everything's done to a really nice quality uh, and they don't sell fast track and they do limit numbers quite low. So Pons Park's generally a quieter park uh, with less queues and it's also got some animals and stuff. So as much as it is very expensive, you get what you pay for with this one. Uh, and that's Portland's Park in Hampshire. Now, next one is Chessington World of Adventures Resort. Now, this is located... Uh, well, technically, it's located in Greater London uh, or in Surrey, or so depending, it's very near each. Uh, now, ticket prices for this park, then, if I go onto the um, website here, if you book in advance, you can get tickets from £34. Uh, I believe you've got to book seven days in advance to get that one, or they are £66 on the day. Now, next is the Legoland Windsor Resort. Uh, now, this park really does vary on when you're visiting uh, ticket prices because it's not like a traditional park in this country where they're open for a season uh, and they're closed the rest. Uh, with Legoland Windsor, they're sort of, they open at Christmas, they open in February, and then they've got their main season, which runs from March through until November. Uh, so yeah, here we go. If I go on to the uh, book now section, uh, you can get tickets from £35 on the Legoland Windsor website. Uh, and on the day, they are £68. So I believe that's the same as Alton Towers uh, ticket pricing.
Now, here we go then. This is Legoland Windsor's parking. Uh, it's the most complicated thing I've ever seen, I think. Uh, I've never actually been on this website before or this page of Legoland Windsor to look at car parking pricing. Uh, yeah, so online, uh, pre-booked, it's £8. Uh, on the day, it's £10. Uh, for priority parking, online, it's £13. And on the day, it's £16. An annual pass exclusive parking is also five pounds. Um, now this is available for all annual passes, uh, including Legoland Adult and Toddler, uh, Silver Legoland Annual Pass, and the Silver Merlin Annual Pass. Uh, the Merlin Discovery Annual Pass isn't included, uh, and any other passes than that get parking for free. Now to make it even more confusing, parking on their Brick Days event, which is February half term, is free. Uh, it's normally free at Christmas as well, so it might be the most confusing thing ever, the Legoland Windsor Resort website for parking, but uh, yeah, if you've not got an annual pass or anything, standard parking, £8 if you pre-book it online. Now, Chessington, another park that like their complicated um, car parking, uh, I believe this is charged all year round, uh, weekdays, off-peak parking is £7, weekends and school holidays, uh, is nine pounds and then on the day is ten pounds so uh yeah just check the website for all these parks because uh, it does normally work out better to pre-book your parking now there that's been quite a lot of expensive parks uh, but i'm now going to move on to some better value parks because if you're looking to do theme park days out on a bit more of a budget uh, get some value here's the best parks of all of that now pleasurewood hills uh now this is quite a small park, it's located in Lowestoft, which is quite out of the way um, on the east coast. Uh, now tickets for this one though aren't actually that bad considering the park's got quite a lot of attractions including Wipeout of a Coma Boomerang. Uh, it's also got like uh, a Schwarzkopf coaster and a couple of family coasters so a lot to do at this park and tickets pre-booked are £19 and on the day are £25. Uh, so yeah, I'd definitely say Pleasurewood Hills is a great park. Parking is free. Um, it is just like a gravel car park, but still, uh, I'd really recommend a visit to Pleasurewood Hills if you sort of live in that area uh, and you're looking for a more budget day out. Now, this is another park that is owned by the same company as Pleasurewood Hills, and it used to be quite a good value day out. Uh, but Drayton Manor, it has got quite a lot more expensive now. Uh, so yeah, you can get tickets pre-booked online. Uh, so if I go onto this page here, tickets are £29.50 uh, booked in advance. Uh, so if I click on here, uh, you can actually see the calendar and all of the different prices. So it really does vary. Like if you wanted to visit uh, on a Friday in March, it's £29.50. But if you wanted to visit on a Saturday in March, uh, it's £37 uh, each, and that is pre-booked in advance. So I'd say Drake Manor now uh, is up there with the expensive parks. Uh, so yeah, that is it really for the really expensive parks. Uh, if you're wondering about car parking at Drayton Manor uh, as well, I believe it's £6. Uh, if I can try and find where you can uh, look at car parking on the website. Car parking is £6 and free for annual pass holders. Uh, you can pay at one of the pay stations uh, uh, at any point of your visit or online in advance. So, uh, yeah, it's not the cheapest for parking. I'd say Drayton Manor, I've not actually checked the tickets page on the website for ages, uh, but it's very expensive now. Like a Saturday, it's £37 per ticket. Uh, then you've obviously got to pay £6 for your car parking. It can work out quite expensive. Uh, for what, at the minute, there isn't loads of attractions there. It is a family park, but they have got another coaster opening in 2024. Now, on to what I believe is by far the best value uh, theme park in the country. It's Adventure Island in South End on Sea. Now, this is actually free entry, or you can pay per ride or get a wristband. Now, wristbands, uh, if you book on an, online in advance, are £20, which might sound like quite a lot, uh, but for what this park has got, is a really good deal. It's called the Super Saver Day Band, uh, and you can book it now or buy now uh, to use any day in 2024. Uh, they did actually just do a sale where you could get annual passes for £30, uh, which I couldn't believe was a massive uh, bargain. I did actually get one of those, or you can get them for £60. Uh, 
Now, so yeah, that is Adventure Island in South End. They've got loads of attractions. They've got four family coasters, Rage, which is a uh, beyond vertical drop coaster, uh, loads of thrill, uh, flat rides, all sorts. Uh, and they are open for quite a lot of the year. They're open from February to November. Uh, so yeah, that is Adventure Island in South End. So yeah, that is um, ticket cost for the UK. I just thought I'd do a quick video going through uh, all of the ticket and parking costs uh, for 2024 that I know of now. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd let you know what the best value places are in my opinion. And I'd definitely say if you're looking for a value day, uh, probably some of your best places to look would be Pleasure Hills or South End Adventure Island. Um, but I'd probably say the best two parks are probably Blackpool Pleasure Beach and Paulton's Park. Uh, yeah, and then the other parks, which are Merlin uh, and owned ones, which means if you've got a Merlin annual pass, they are, well, free entry or included entry. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys for watching this video uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.